If you're stuck on a UFO that manages to house one of the biggest vaults in history, coupled with the weirdest camera placements and basic addition, I'm Izuaho with The Gamer, and here's how to complete Kaneshiro's Palace. First of all, this guide assumes you already completed the initial exploration and Makoto's awakening, leaving only the actual palace to do. With six members of the Phantom Thieves, it might be difficult figuring out who to bring. It's safe practice to have the newest member be in the party since enemies will probably be weak to that character's element, designate roles, and have Joker fill in affinity gaps. Make sure to hit the Velvet Room every now and then to see what fusions are available. For my run, Yusuke was my go-to for AoE physical damage, Makoto for nuclear damage, On for fire damage and singular healing, and Joker for covering everything else. And good ol' Morgana was my heal bot. After a cutscene reveals you can't enter through the front door, examine the golden pig on the right to reveal a secret entrance to the first floor. Once inside, go south before turning right at the stairs to get a tutorial on showtime attacks, which deal a great amount of damage to enemies, so use them when you're in a pinch or finish the battle quickly. After that, go west towards the middle section to grab a chest behind the blue barricades near reception, backtrack to the stairs, and go southwest for another cutscene. Scene. Go into the room southeast in the corner for another chest and head out towards the stairs northwest to reach the second floor. Head east towards the surveillance room, hitting the switch on the right to create a shortcut back downstairs. On the left side of the room, you can climb a locker to access a vent to get into the office. Defeat the shadows to get the keycard and the map. Head back out and go southwest from the room to the elevator control room, getting inside with the keycard. Drop into the hole to reach the passage. Save at the nearby safe room and use your third eye to reveal the surveillance cameras throughout the passageway. These cameras can be disabled by destroying its power supply box in the northwest before entering the room in the west. After ambushing the shadow, head south and turn right at the corner between the triangle sculptures, disabling the camera in the room. Leave and head south, going into the room to disable another camera. Now, head for the northwest stairs and use the passage to reach the staff walkway ahead. In the staff walkway, go down the south stairs and destroy a power supply box and open a chest. Go downstairs to trigger a cutscene before following the path to the right until you can grapple. Turn around from the dead end, grapple and get Kaneshiro's first will seed. Outside the will seed room, use the keycard for a shortcut downstairs and to get back to the staff walkway. After saving, head north and enter the door to the east. There are climbable lockers on the right, so use the vent at the top to claim the chest and return to the corridor with the keycard. Go to the room in the southwest corner to fight another shadow. Kick the power supply box and go to the southern stairs to use the keycard for a shortcut to the front hall. Backtrack to the main walkway guard room north of the vault. After a cutscene, immediately head to the surveillance room. Trigger the mini boss fight against Fuki, who is weak to electricity and drops the right start key. Head to the guard room to fight Suiki, who is weak to nuke. It drops the left start key and the bank underground map. Double back to the vault and use the keys to reach the laundering office. When the path branches off in the next room, go west towards the door in the south, using the cubicles as cover from the cameras. Enter the next room at the end of this room and use the vent to reach the scaffolding. To get to the next will see to walk forward on the scaffolding until you're able to drop to a lower level, turning around and walking forward until dropping again. Jump to the platform nearby and climb to the above platform to grapple to the next will seed. Grapple back to the last platform again to continue. Jump across the gap to get to the middle section of the scaffolding, walking to the vent up ahead to get into a new hall. Head downstairs to the last corridor and head to the door in the south, taking the elevator when you reach it. Nab the chest and go to the southern balcony to watch a cutscene. Take the stairs and sneak around until you reach the lower level and use the safe room to the north. Go towards the elevator to trigger the fight against Suiki, Fuki, and Kinki, who is weak to Sai. Defeating these three allows you to take the elevator downstairs. 
we're finally at the home stretch here in the underground vault. Use the safe room and get ready to type a lot of passwords. The first password to enter the vault is 0102. Go west until you can enter the first vault dungeon. Head southwest to reach the room on the left to shut the cameras and get torn page 1. The second torn page is found north after climbing the southern stairs in the piggy bank with glowing eyes. Turn around and head west towards the dead end, climbing the lockers for a chest. Using the east stairs, unlock the door using the password 0931 and return to the main vault. In the second vault dungeon, go north and climb on the shelf in the east, walking right until you can jump onto another shelf. Keep climbing and go south along the shelf before jumping to the next shelf on the left. Disable the fences, then jump down to enter the south door, opening the chest beforehand. Making your way west, go upstairs and continue until you find and destroy the power supply box on the north wall. From the now destroyed box, keep going until you reach another piggy bank containing torn page 3. You can find the fourth torn page in the southwest corner, before going east from there and using the password 2319 and returning to the main area. Kum Honda blocks the way to the control panel, being weak to bless attacks though. To get the final will seed, press right on the panel and press the button again when prompted. There's a Cerberus blocking the will seed door, but you can easily get rid of it through ice attacks. You now have all of the will seeds. To open the real path, simply press the button again. In the final vault dungeon, keep going east towards the southeast wall, where a power supply box can be destroyed to disable the first layer of security around the piggy bank. Then go to the northwest corner until you can grapple onto the shelves. Go east to disable the power supply on the north wall, going east again for another power supply box. The piggy bank should now be free, containing torn page 5. Now head northwest, ignoring the door asking for your yen. Instead, destroy the multiple power supply boxes as you go west. The second supply box has a grappling spot nearby, which leads to another chest. Jump down from the left side, going along the southern path, going north for a climbable spot. Make your way to the eastern shelf, finally getting the final torn page and disengaging the electric fence. Reach the terminal in the southwest corner and input the password 1841. With that, the route to the treasure is secured. Fuse personas, grind the yen or XP, and prepare to send the calling card. For more Persona 5 Royal guides and tips, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching.